Here to discuss this now is Arizona Senate candidate Carrie Lake. Great to see you, Carrie. It's good to be with you. I'm here in beautiful Apache County. Say hello. We are in. <laughs> well, I love it. Uh, we have multiple guests. Arizona. Yes, we do. We're on, a cam on the campaign trail, as you know, for U.S. Senate here in Arizona. And we're on Navajo Nation with uh, just amazing people tonight. And we wanted to come on and talk to everybody around the country and, and tell them everything's good in Arizona and the people are ready to get out and vote and make a big, huge change in the direction we're going. We all look very comfortable considering it's the middle of summer in Arizona and you're outside. But, Carrie, you know the <laughs> former president better than most. And the person we heard on that call last night with Elon Musk, that's the real Donald Trump. That's the person you get when the cameras and the microphones are not around. And it doesn't look like an authentic version of Kamala Harris exists. Oh, we don't know. I mean, depending on where she shows up, we don't know what personality, who she's going to be. Uh, you know, she's even changing her policies because she knows that when she shows up, the people don't want those dead end Democrat policies. So she's a, a real phony, to be honest. And I'm not trying to be mean and, and call names, but that's just what we're seeing with President Trump. He's authentic. He's always been that New Yorker, that businessman and the person who loves and cares about his family and his country. And that's what we see every time he shows up. Now, some people think he's a little too brash. Frankly, I think we need strong and brash right now. We're in a world of hurt. The world's a dangerous place and we need strength. And we always get that with President Trump. Kamala Harris has left it up to people like Congressman Eric Swalwell to defend her. And here's Swalwell talking about what Kamala Harris is going to do to our country. She's also, you know, been going across uh, the country, uh, filling uh, arenas and, and talking about what she's going to do on the rights that were robbed uh, for women when Roe uh, was was taken away. The border crisis that she's going to solve, that her uh, economic policy won't benefit uh, billionaires, but it will benefit uh, hardworking Americans. It, it, she calls it, it it's working for uh, working people. She's stopping, you know, before going on stage and talking to reporters. And I expect more of that uh, as we go into the convention uh, on Monday. So no talking to reporters. Uh, yes, she has been out there, but it's the same thing we've seen every single day from Kamala Harris, Carrie. It's the same canned speech. And I would like to think that the legacy well, media is me. going to get fed she up with this, but I, I, I'm not optimistic. I would hope they would start asking some tough questions. We deserve to know uh, answers to some of these tough questions. They grill President Trump, and he's fine with it. They grill him. They're unfair to him. He's okay with it. But they haven't asked her any tough questions. It doesn't surprise me she's going to Eric Swalwell, asking him to bail her out. You know, he's obviously somebody who had an affair with a Chinese spy. We're looking at Joe Biden administration is very, uh, very cozy with the CCP. And we're watching as they're willing to ship every single job we have in America overseas to places like China. And so this is an America last agenda. And they know they can't win with that America last agenda. So right now she's trying to do an extreme makeover and trying to paint herself as somebody that she's not. She's not uh, for not taxing tips. If she was for not taxing tips, then why hasn't she already done that? Last I heard, they are, right. the, uh, they are the team that's in power right now. They've done nothing to help the American people. All they've done is hurt the American people. And that's why on November 5th, the American people are going to rise up and show up in numbers like we've never seen before to vote for President Donald J. Trump and to vote for Kerry Lake for U.S. Senate here in Arizona. All right, That's Kerry, right. let's talk about your campaign. Uh, a big endorsement from former Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. He's both endorsed you and Donald Trump, which is quite a change from where Doug Ducey used to be once upon a time. Tell us about this and why it's so important for the campaign. All right. Well, we, we unfortunately, I think we lost Carrie Lake, but that is a big update for her. Uh, Doug Ducey, uh, former governor of Arizona, who has made no secret of his disdain for Donald Trump in the past and for Carrie Lake. He's now come around and is endorsing both of their candidacies, hers for Senate, Donald Trump's for the presidency. So there you go on that. And our thanks to Carrie Lake for being with us, unfortunately. She's out in the field and we love. Oh, there she's back. Carrie Lake is back with us. All right. Great. Carrie, we have you back. I was asking you about the Doug Ducey endorsement. That's a big news for your campaign. Congratulations on that. Well, we're really happy about it, and we're very thankful. Uh, Governor Ducey did a great job in Arizona. He grew our economy. He uh, made sure that Arizona became a destination state, and we're really happy to have his endorsement. Hey, look, the Republicans are united. 
Don't let the fake news media trick you. The Democrats are actually in disarray. And thankfully so. A lot of Democrats are waking up and saying, wait, we don't recognize this party. And they're coming over to the America First Republican Party. We're about putting our country first. We've got the Republicans fully united. The independents are with us. And we're even working to bring some Democrats over because let's face it, everybody wants to have a strong economy. Everybody wants safe, secure borders, fully funded police. My opponent is for sanctuary cities, wide open borders, defunding the police. And he wants to see our energy sector being shipped overseas. So we have to rely on our adversaries for oil. And we don't want that anymore. We want an America first agenda. That's what you're going to get with President Trump and Kerry Lake. All right, Kerry Lake and some of her friends out there on the campaign trail in Arizona. Thanks for being with us. Awesome. This evening. Thank you. Thank you.